let us consider the same example of the plastic bumper overheated traditional method for a design would be to import the geometry of the new part assign mesh and boundary conditions to the part mesh the full domain and then run the solution this would take a significantly large amount of time to accomplish what if i told you we can cut down this time by 50 percent compared to the traditional method and this is what i'm going to show you now local meshing speeds up the re-execution of the surface remesure after local changes are made to the input geometry or the mesh settings this feature with this feature star ccm plus only remeshes surfaces which is defined within a defined location and leaves other surfaces unchanged we have a total mesh count of 18 million and traditionally this would take seven to eight hours to mesh the solid both the solid and the fluid domain we can cut down this time significantly to two hours by using the feature of local wrap and remesh in star ccm plus let us jump back to the tool and understand how this is done let's go ahead and open a separate sim file with the same geometry we can go and open the solid scene of the exhaust lines and the engine which is present let me go ahead and hide the transparency of the vehicle geometry for us to easily work on the other parts now our goal is to go ahead our first goal is to go ahead and replace the heat shield because the heat shields were not a proper design and they were burning the bumpers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you both the muffler heat shields over here let's look at it in the top view you can see that it's not covering the tailpipe fully so i'm going to double click on this particular part and it's going to take me to that particular part in the tree so this is the left muffler heat shield which i'm going to highlight and the other side it has the right muffler heat shield so we'll go ahead right click and replace both these parts so the first thing is go ahead on the left muffler heat shield we're going to right click click on the replace part and here one thing which i want to stress is that it's important that you maintain the the existing part name both on the part level and the leaf level has to be same uh, with, the name has to be the same with the new cat that you're importing because the next when we when we select the left muffler heat shield you get two options <clears> either <throat> match by surface id or by name so we're going to use the name and click on ok and when this happens you can automatically see on the scene that the heat shield has been updated similarly we'll perform the same task for the right heat shield replace part select the right heat shield match surfaces by name and the scene is updated so now our job of of importing the heat shields has been done so now the question comes uh do we have to redefine the mesh settings or the boundary conditions or the or any other properties or the material properties of this component my answer is no so you can see that we had tagged the part previously so these tags are maintained still you can see that the solid is continuum material is aluminium and mesh refinement since it's a thin component is fine and these are maintained so you don't have to go ahead and assign any of these over and over again because we replaced that particular part it's maintained for the both the right and the left muffler heat shield so the tags are retained so let's get back to the operations and execute the first operation we we, we need to remember that in star ccm plus the operations it goes in a chronological manner so it starts from the top and then comes one by one you have to execute them so let's go ahead and execute the first operation of creating the wind tunnel quickly it's going to just going to take a second that's done so the next job next our next interest would be uh, would be to cre uh, create what we call so we have to specify the extent to which we want to have the local wrap or the local mesh in. So we are going to create a domain around the left and the right muffler heat shield. And that's what we are going to do. For that, we are going to go ahead and create what we call an offset. So we are going to select the heat shields and we want to inflate, basically inflate the heat shield and create a region around it. In the exhaust system, we have both the right and the left muffler heat shield. And also we need to define the extent to which you want to inflate this particular heat shield. That's going to be 0.1 meter.
I also want to remind you guys that it happens in a chronological order. So what we need to do over here is it's important that we reorder this and place the offset or the localized region before we wrap or do the automated mesh. So mesh. So I'm going to right click on operations and reorder it and place it before the surface wrapper or the automated mesh. And I'm going to right click execute. So the offset body is now being created. So let's have a look at it in the part tree. There is a part which is which is has which has been created when we executed this particular operation. Let me highlight it. So this is the domain in which the local remesh or the wrap is going to happen. So now we have defined now we have defined the local zone within which we want to create the offset. The next step is let's go ahead and see the rep, uh, the wrapped representation. So let me change the representation to wrap and you can see that in the wrapped representation it's still the old heat shield because we have not yet wrapped the geometry with the new heat shield. So that's what we are going to do today. So you can see that the heat shield is still the old one. So let's go to the operations of solid wrap. simulation solid solid surface wrapper and over here we have to tick what we call the perform local surface wrapping and this will enable the local wrapping and after that the second step is to go create a local extent within which we want the wrap to occur so we'll right click over here new volume extent and this is the extent within which the wrap will occur and that is defined by the offset body which we just created so in parts we will select the offset domain and right click and execute. So we need to remember over here that the wrapper happens, the local surface wrapping happens in serial and we can execute this particular operation. So what is happening right now on the screen, as you can see 23 out of 86. So what the software is doing is it is looking for each part and checking if that particular part is present in the local domain that we have defined. If yes, if it is present in the local domain, then and only then it will wrap the particular part. If we had wrapped all the all the solids, it would have taken us 15 to 20 minutes to complete. But over here, since we have local wrapped, it is almost complete right now. It just takes a minute or two to finish. So the surface wrap is almost completed. Yeah, it's finished. Now you can see suddenly the scene got updated and the surface wrapper because because we we uh, we had the representation as surface wrap. The scene got updated automatically with the wrap representation. With the updated heat shield. So the next step is to do the similar exercise for the automated mesh. I'm going to go ahead and tick perform local surface meshing. create a volume extent and in the volume extent define it's the same task that we performed for the local wrap it's the same task we specify offset click OK and execute same thing let's go ahead and change it to serial and execute the operation so this is going to take a little time and once it's completed it's going to take 15 to 20 minutes to complete i have a file which is already wrapped so let's have a look at it so let's go to the representation of surface mesh the mesh is completed for the solid so let's have a look at the surface mesh so you can see once it's updated once the scene is updated you can see that in star CCM plus the surface mesh is tetrahedral, whereas if we specify the volume mesh to be polyhedral, the surface it's going to grow from the surface that is it is going to join the tetrahedral elements to create polyhedral elements. So I will go ahead and change the, the representation to volume mesh itself. So let's have a look at it. It is going to be polyhedral elements and for, because it's a thin component over here, the heat shield is a thin component. We have modeled it as a thin mesher. So you can once it's updated, you can see that it creates a really good mesh. So you can see polyhedral elements over here, but they are stacked up in layers. So you can go ahead and increase the number of layers or change it if you wish to. 
Similarly, we can perform the wrap and volume mesh for the fluid domain as well. We created this for the, we created the localized wrap and the remesh for the solid domain. But similarly, it can be done for the fluid domain, for the entire fluid domain. Typically, to wrap and mesh the fluid domain, it takes seven hours. But with localized remeshing, just like I showed you, it takes one hour to complete, and I have tried it on my own. And that is a huge reduction in time when you're performing design iterations. 